All right, here we go. Hey everybody, it's Chris with Rain City Geckos. Uh, it's been a while, been uh, busy, been uh, being a dad. I don't know if some of you might know, uh, I had a little girl a couple months ago, so. Been busy with that, taking care of everybody here, working, usual. Um, haven't really made any videos, haven't really done much. Uh, going to the Seattle Metro Reptile Expo tomorrow. Uh, we get a, getting a couple different things, so I'll, uh, I'll make another video of that. But uh, just want to do a quick uh, room tour update. Um, if you scroll back, you could probably see uh, the way it was last time or in the previous videos. Um, so this is my uh, downstairs bedroom, kind of office, uh, reptile room. Um, got all my supplies, got uh, one of my crested geckos, both my incubators, which have some uh, leopard gecko eggs right now. Um, my largest and oldest uh, crested gecko petri, so about 35 grams. I got my female rainbow citrus tiger het hypo right there. Um, UV lights kind of hard to see the color and stuff but she's she's awesome chilling there in a 40 gallon breeder got your uv got your basking you know standard setup um over here is more of uh the crested gecko collection everyone's individually housed i had them uh in a colony set up in these large uh i think they're 64 quart uh hefty locking uh tubs uh all these are I forget what they are now. They're like 28 or 29 quart. Um, see, here's my 90% pinstripe. Uh, right there's my 100% pinstripe. Um, general setup, you know, I got the hide. Got a milk cap with Rapashi. You know, you got your foliage, your brush or whatever. Stuff for them to hide in, climb in. Um, mist them down once a day. Every night. <clears throat> before uh, the lights go out. I missed everybody. So, uh, that's them. They're all getting big. Um, they kind of take a while to grow. You know, Crested Geckos grow slow. So, it's definitely projects that uh, take a while, especially if you're starting with, uh, like, some of these guys. I got, these were little babies I got back in uh, October. And they're, like, three grams. Now they're up to ten, you know. So, they're going. They're almost twelve and ten right there. But, uh, they're getting bigger. They're going. Um, right here is uh two of my very first ever leopard geckos actually um i got a 20 gallon tank just like this with the setup and stuff uh one male and two females so that's uh, how i got into leopard geckos and uh, this is one of them super hypo tangerine caratail i've never bred them i've been thinking about proving out some of my females that i originally have got but i'm pretty sure you know they're petco geckos or whatever they're not they're not really breeders. I've thought about it, but there's no real point, and I don't really want to be giving out geckos with genetics that I'm not 100% sure on. Um, improving stuff out can take a while, you know, so I mean, it's always fun. It's something cool to do, but I'm not sure if I really want to do that yet. And uh, Larry, all three of them I named uh, Leslie, Layla, and Larry, so the two females and the male. Um, I'm probably going to pull them out and throw them in a rack just to get space and probably end up converting this into like a full-on crested gecko uh, rack over here, I guess. And then you got some of my supplies down there, you know. Humid hides, little Tupperwares for humid hides and lay boxes, more hides, water dishes, that kind of stuff. Um, this is the rack that I've had. Sorry about the light there. Um, it's a killer glare. Uh, originally built, uh, was 11, 11 shelves. Um, got my two ball pythons down here at the bottom. And then, uh, all the way up, got these guys. And then, uh, this is where I recently just built, uh, 14. As you can see, you got quite a bit of space. I got uh, a lot. Now I need to build a hatchling rack so I can house all my babies. <laughs> but uh, the room's pretty open. I mean, you can see my cart over here. I got my general supplies, your sprayer, your paper towels, your what have you. Um, some little dubias down there for throwing in. 
or feeding to the uh, crested geckos there occasionally. Um, I got my one other dragon here. I actually have three: one male, two females. Um, I usually try and get trios of things if I'm just sticking small, like uh, dragons. You know, get a nice. Uh, I got a hypo rainbow tiger male upstairs um, from Jella's badass beardies. There, uh, he's got. Jeff's got some killer stuff. Check them out. Um, and I got these two girls to pair up with him. So eventually we'll do that. Same thing. Got. Uh, a male bumblebee ball python and a female pinstripe so that'll be cool eventually uh have my hand at that but as you can see sticking the leopard geckos got a surprise coming tomorrow when i go to the show so i'll show everybody the the new pickups but i just want to do a quick room tour you know the desk and the room but this is Chris with Rain City Geckos giving you a quick uh, room tour update and we'll, uh, we'll do another video tomorrow. So thanks for watching and stay tuned.